Hello, hello. It is Saturday morning. I slept so well, but I also slept really late. I'm really trying not to sleep too late, but I think I have a really bad habit right now where I watch a ton of YouTube videos on my phone and I think that prevents me from falling asleep easily. So I don't know, I need to work on that. But today I wanted to bring Riley out to a nice neighborhood and try to take a long walk since it is a beautiful day out. It's about close to 80, like it's like 78, and I do feel concerned that it might be too hot to actually have a long walk, but I still think I'm going to try to do it anyways. Maybe we can take a break, she can have some water in between if it gets hot, but I just really wanted to go out and get her some exercise today and kind of feel like I spent a lot of time outdoors as well today just because it's just a nice day. I want to spend it outside and I also want to spend it in a form that's not hiking. So this is what I came up with. So I'm all showered up and ready to go. And my first stop is going to be bubble tea because I haven't had it in pretty much a week. I think that's pretty good. I used to get it like, I used to spend $80 a month on it. So I think I'm doing really good, but I'm going to go pick that up first on, along the way. And then I think I'm going to stop by Del Mar because that area has some nice walking areas and I don't know, I feel like it's hard to find sidewalks in California. I was actually on Google Maps yesterday searching around Alpine for a nice neighborhood to walk in and none of them have sidewalks and it's driving me crazy. Even my own neighborhood doesn't have that many sidewalks. So what the hell man, <laughs> New Jersey had sidewalks. I actually love, I love my parents' neighborhood. They have the best walking area there. I'm so jealous. I miss it every single day. But, okay, time. Let, 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 let's go. Let's go. Good. Wow, that was a good one. Got my drink. Mango green tea. And now, oh God. Oh, here. It is time to poke a hole through the top. This is my routine. I do this and then I poke it. I'll do it off screen because I need it in the cup holder. Ah! Oh. Yeah, I usually do that because they tend to have a lot of stickiness around the rim and I hate getting that on my hands. They only wipe it. They pretty much take like the liquid that is overflowing and then they wipe it around the drink and it's still fucking sticky. So. This is my foolproof way of not getting my hands sticky. Hmm. Wow, it's pretty cold. I actually need, need to figure something out later because if I drink this, I'm going to have to massively pee. And if I'm walking her in neighborhoods, <laughs> I can't just pee anywhere. Normally, if I'm hiking, I'm okay with peeing in the wilderness because nobody's around. But if it's in the neighborhood, as a different story, but all right, I have an address set on my phone and I am ready to head over. See you guys there. Alrighty, just got here. It seems like a pretty nice neighborhood, I have to say, and there is sidewalks everywhere. So I'm really going to enjoy this walk, although I am a little concerned I'll try to find as much shade as possible because it is 80 degrees now by the time I got out here. So we'll see what it's about. Poppers! So good. So right now, I hope you can hear me over the wind, but I am in Del Mar. I am in some amazing neighborhood with views like this. They have a park. Well, I don't know if this is considered a park. It has a lot of green. There's not actually that many people around. And I am actually so jealous that they have this so close to their home. But I'm really happy also that I found this place because I would actually like to consider coming here much more often because this is the perfect place to take a walk in. There's nobody around. It's so peaceful and it's gorgeous. I am seriously in a great mood right now.
and I feel like that overbearing mother that just wants to take a bunch of pictures and videos and all she wants to do is run around and frolic, right? I'm gonna wait for her to look at me before I release. Break! Good! <laughs> Nose down first thing. Wow, I didn't even tell her to do that. So, they have a nice neighborhood going on around here. Plenty of walking space. Just need to keep track of Riley. Um, I can't be that parent that is too busy in something else and then she wanders off. I really don't think she would ever do that though. She tends to stick by me very closely. Exploring the earth. Hi, right now I am in Alpine. I decided to drive 45 minutes to Alpine from Del Mar and I guess check out some neighborhoods. I went up to one neighborhood kind of towards the east where there was some water around and I kind of wanted to see what it's like. She might be a little hot, but you know what? She is rejecting my water. She's not drinking much water. I feel like when she's out and there's all this excitement around, she kind of doesn't drink much. And then when we get home, she just drinks a lot. So. Hopefully though, she manages to stay cool because she's rejecting my source of hydration. But, here are some views. That mountain right there is so pretty. God damn it, the wind is blowing my hair around. It's so nice. And it's just quiet out here. You hear some birds in the distance. There's actually a woman with her off-leash dogs down there. I don't know. I, I honestly can't see the screen right now, so I don't even know if you can see her, but the sun's in my eyes. But they're far enough away that it's not a big deal. I knew you were in here, you know why? Because only Sammy greeted me at the door. Oh God, he always just jumps straight from that floor. Maybe you can take it slower. Yes, oh, someone's coming down. <laughs> Hi guys. Good. Break. Good. All right, she should be real thirsty. I am finally home. I was actually out for quite a while today. Kind of surprised me because I left around close to 12 and it is four o'clock now. So I've been out for four to five hours. Actually, let's pick up after I left Wrights Field. So I decided to drive around a little more to some neighborhoods and I went up to some nice houses. Um, it was really, really cool because 
I would kind of take note of the address and look up what the price was on Zillow and surprisingly some of the really nice houses that have really nice hill views are under one million dollars and that really surprises me and that gives me hope <laughs> that if I wanted to maybe buy a house in Alpine that I could have one with pretty well-rounded things like a flat backyard, hill view, seclusion, stuff like that. I mean, those houses did have neighbors on both sides, so it's not like super, super secluded, but I guess it's kind of good enough. Um, but it was really nice to just drive around there and explore. Uh, I am definitely pretty drained by now, so I have a movie lined up. So I will probably watch one of them. I think they are all foreign, so... Well, actually, I haven't checked yet today if anything new came up, but otherwise, movie and then more reading, and then exercise, and maybe, if I have the energy, I will order some groceries to be delivered. Just finished Elena. Elena? I think it's Elena. By that same Russian director. And, mm, I don't think I like this one as much as his other movies. Something I'm really starting to realize though is I still find it a little difficult to know if something he is portraying is common in Russian culture. I guess when I read user reviews, some people do mention that some of what he portrays in the movies are relatable to current day society there. And I guess little tidbits that I'm picking up is that something that is common amongst most of his movies is just, you know, the idea that men or young boys need to be really tough there seems like it's it seems very common where they show like a group of boys hanging out and kind of like drinking or fighting or taunting each other saying that if you don't do something then you're a wuss and then they just seem like so hard on each other um, that's not an aspect I really like to see but Aside from that, I guess the premise of this movie kind of sucks. Sucks in the sense that it's not a topic I like, where it shows that this woman has a son who is kind of useless. He doesn't have a job. He has a wife and two children and managed to get her pregnant again. And he just, they just have no money and their form of survival is getting his mother to ask for money from her rich husband. And I, oh, I can't stand stuff like that. It makes me so angry because I can't stand to see moochers. You know, enabling people is one of the worst things. So it was tough to watch it and not feel so annoyed by it. But I do think the subject matter of his other movies, I do prefer more than this one. So this one, I wouldn't rank as high as the other ones, but um, I do I do also feel like his filming style, I'm starting to recognize, he does do a lot of long shots, still shots of kind of not much going on, or you don't think much about it, but I guess it should. It ends up having meaning in other ways. <sighs> well, anyways, now that that's over and that I've had some time to hang out, I think it's time for some exercise because I have the time. And maybe this is the year that I will finally have a six pack. I don't know if that'll happen. That is not the attitude I should be having. <laughs>